first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahabashai, who we reverence and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning across the globe this lesson is going to be based on prayer because prayer is it's a lifeline okay you see this um image as you can see prayer the world's greatest wireless connection this is your connection between you and Jehovah Shai you and him only this is my connection with me and Yahweh Shai prayer prayer is so personal okay and that's between you and Yahweh Shai you don't got to tell anybody else what you're praying for who you're praying for that's between you and Yahweh Shai so I want to start with Tobit okay Let's start from Tobit 12 and 8. Prayer is good. Because what does prayer show? Faith. And it takes faith to pray. Because if you didn't have faith, you were not going to pray. Okay? So even it even takes faith to pray. Because you're praying because you believe someone hears you. And you're going to be answered. And that someone is Yahweh Shai. We're fasting like a pray is good with fasting so fasting is another thing because when you fast guess what you're denying the flesh and you're increasing more in the spirit so all these things are needed all these things help okay it brings you more closer to your Shai because he sees whatever he's praying he's fasting he's doing the work so he can sup with you more a lot of the revelations men had as well because they were denying themselves more. Okay? And fasting them alms and righteousness. A little with a righteous a little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. So a little and you can even apply that to with a little understanding you may have, a little knowledge you may have is better okay a little with righteousness is better which is what discipline walking to the best of our ability to the to the ways of Yahweh Shai is better than much unrighteousness okay is better than much with unrighteousness because you could have much people have much in this world but guess what they're unrighteous okay they're not looking to repent okay it is better to give alms then to lay up gold okay and nothing's wrong with doing that but you're not dependent on that you're not going to do wickedly and oh let me give some alms just because you've done wicked no 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 no. i'm not saying that but these things help okay so now let's go to psalm 55 and 17. i'm so lucky if i sound a bit blocked up psalm 55 and 17. prayer is Prayer is fundamental in this truth. Don't pray. Your defences are down. And that's when we're more likely to get attacked. Pray. Okay. So I'm 55. And we're going to go straight to verse 16. As for me, one of my this is one of my favourite prayers. As for me, I will call upon Yahabai Shem Yahabashai. And the Lord Yahabashai shall save me that that's a confident prayer it didn't say he might save me he will it's a prayer of david and he will save me he shall save me evening so throughout the evening okay and morning okay evening is what the break in the day night time okay and morning even throughout the morning as soon as you wake up prayers throw them prayers up and at noon, okay, while the sun is up, while I will pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice, 
So this is this is a confident, confident supplication. This is a confident statement. I will pray and cry aloud. And he shall hear my voice. Oh, I don't think, and it didn't say I don't I don't think he's gonna hear my he might hear my voice or maybe he won't. No, he shall hear my voice. We have to have that confidence. We have to. We have to have that confidence in Yahweh Shai. Okay? Bear me just a minute. Let's go to Bear me just a minute. Oh, right on it. Matthew 7. And we're gonna go straight to Seven, ask, and it shall be given you. So how are you going to receive anything if you don't ask? Okay, and it shall be given you. And who's going to give that to you? Yahweh Shai. Okay. Seek. Before we came into the truth, we were seeking for. I don't know about you, but I was seeking. I wanted to know the truth. I wanted to know what was the meaning of life. Why does this happen? Why does that happen? Now you've got it. Now you're going to squander it now. Because particular men, now they have the truth. Well, all them years you were searching for the truth, now you've got the truth. What, doesn't it mean anything to you anymore? This truth is supposed to mean everything and more to us. Everything. Seek and you shall find. Okay. Seek and you shall find. It's like, how are you going to find something that's lost unless you're not looking for it, unless you're not searching for it? And guess what? We were lost and we were searching for the truth. And now we, Yahweh has given it to us. Now we, look, you, we got to hold on to it with everything we have. Everything. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Okay. You just standing at the door, you're not knocking. Well, how do you expect anybody else to, how do you expect anybody to open? And it shall be opened unto you. All right, and Yahabashai is that door. Yahabashai is that way. It told you what somewhere in John, I think it's fourteen. Actually, it tells you that in John ten, I am the door. Okay, no man can come to their father but by me. So Yahabashai, he is the way. He is the passage. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. So you're going to find it and that's how what we woke up to this truth and it wasn't by our own means but we were searching i'm sure some of you brothers can this resonates with you you were searching you wanted to know okay you wanted it you wanted to know these things now guess what the lord has opened you up to this okay he's opened you up to it and that's guess what that's beautiful that is a gift okay and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. So it be open to you. Why? Because you're knocking. You understand what I'm saying? You're asking. And now the truth has been opened up to us. This, this, is, this is, look, bro, this is not a light thing. This is not a light thing. Okay? This is, what are talking about? This is eternal, 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 eternal wisdom. That we've got to be grateful for. It's, it's called having gratitude. And whatever we don't have here, we're going to get that in the kingdom. Whatever that we don't have here, we're going to receive that in the kingdom. Eventually, we're going to receive that. Do you believe in this? Do we believe in this? The answer is to me, yeah. I wouldn't be doing this for, the, for no reason. What man is there of you whom his son asked bread? Would he give him a stone? You're going to give your son a, a son a stone, he's asked for bread. Are you going to give him the opposite? No, you're going to give him what he asked for. Now, if he asked a fish, would he give him a serpent? The answer is no. If he then being evil know how to good, give, good, good, give good gifts unto your children, and that's people that are evil. People that are evil do that. Birthdays, Christmas, which we don't celebrate, none of that rubbish. People do that. Okay, unto your children, how much more shall your father, 
riches in heaven give good things to them that ask him more so those that are doing the work so here it is you're actually doing the work you've actually been called to be a minister how much more is he going to help you out how much is he going to do good unto you you that are ministering unto him the people in the world they're evil they're wicked and they're giving good give, giving good gifts to their children and they mean children to Yahweh Shai. So how much us? Especially if you're doing the right thing according to him. See the Lord is see the Lord is very Yahweh Shai is very, very, very fair. He breaks you off nuggets here, there. He might chastise us, but he what breaks us off that nugget. Remember he's a rewarder of them that what diligently seek him. Maybe just a minute. Excuse me. Let's get Ephesians. This ain't going to be a long one. Keep the brothers going. Keep the brothers going. Because I know certain brothers need this. We're going to shut off on this. Ephesians 6. And... 18 praying always okay and we can never pray enough and this this is applying to myself as well always even because look there's gonna be time when you're praying and satan's gonna be saying shut up shut up i don't want to you know nah don't pray you know you gotta rebuke you gotta rebuke that and pray pray praying always with all prayer in supplication in the spirit it says always and watching there unto with all perseverance. So we gotta persevere, we've got to endure and supplication for all the saints. And you know what? We're not just praying praying for ourselves. Pray for a brother. Pray for a brother as well. You know a brother's truly sincere. You know he's really about his father's business. Pray for him as well. You no, know a brother's struggling with particular demons. Pray for that brother. Okay. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying and until the next time. Shut a to the hopeful elect. Shut a warm.